How you doing ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to MechWar Online Rascal. In today's video we're going to take a look at probably my favorite clan assault mech. You can see it right here in front of you in smoke jaguar colors of course. The Masakari aka the Warhawk 85 ton clan Omni mech. Uh, as always I'll take you guys through the mech lab. I'll show you my build for the mech and then I'm going to show you guys some gameplay in the mech. Uh, if we dive right into the mech lab, the uh, Masakari or the Warhawk is one of the few mechs I think is actually implemented better here in MechWar Online than it was back in the tabletop. Uh, stock, it carries four ER PPCs and an LR antenna and a targeting computer. One of the hallmarks of all of the Warhawks is that they all carried targeting computers. And so what I've done is I've just ditched the LRM10 and the associated ammo and used that to pick up some more heat sinks because that is the one problem obviously you're going to face in a mech with four ER PPCs is heat issues. Now obviously you cannot fire all four of these ER PPCs together. Uh, you couldn't do that in tabletop for sure. And even here in MechWare Online you can't do that. Although it did get a buff along with the awesome in that uh, PPC heat scale limit uh, patch. The um, Warhawks heat scale limit was also increased to three, so you could conceivably fire three PPCs at once with this if you wanted to, but I tend not to do that. Um, obviously, the point of this mech is to put out a lot of pinpoint damage at medium to long range, so what I tend to do is I tend to stay close to cover. I use my targeting computer, sometimes I'll even use the zoom to quickly find out where an enemy mech is hurt and then start targeting components. I tend, to stay, I tend to stay close to cover and I'll fire them into, I'll peek out with the left arm or the right arm, bam, bam, go back to cover and cool, come back out, bam, bam. And then what I've learned is uh, as enemies get close to you, your instinct will be to continue firing that way in groups of two because you're gonna wanna put out as much damage as you can, as quickly as you can to try to kill the enemy mech. But what I found is that it can actually be better to chain fire because if you chain fire these right with a couple of seconds, so I'd say about a three second pause, maybe a little bit more uh, in between each PR PPC, you can actually just continue to slam them with 15 points of damage, you know, bam, 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 bam. And then you're coming back around to the top of the list and the PPCs have cycled back up. You can just keep hitting them and keep hitting them and that will tend to drive people to cover, make them back up and get away from you because they'll realize that that's a lot of damage stacking up pretty quickly. And all in all, I've got to say, I'm really having a lot of fun with the Warhawk and enjoying the way that it's been implemented here, MechWar Online, the way the mech was designed, but you could never actually use it in tabletop. But uh, that's enough right now. Um, obviously the skills, uh, you know, it, it's pretty easy. You're going to go with max heat containment and cool run, pick up as much velocity and heat gen as you can from the firepower tree, uh, pick up your two cool shots and your artillery strike and your radar derp, and then what you want to do with the remaining is up to you. I put them into survivability and I actually focused on uh, internal structure to try to mitigate my overheat damage. But let's take a look at some gameplay and I'll show you guys how this thing works out on the battlefield. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. So north spawn on Canyon Network. What I like to try to do is get on the high ground over here and work my way towards the center. Use my range to put some big shots into anybody that's kind of off to our left. Also trying to work towards the center and then kind of work around the right side of the pylon there in the center until I can shoot across and then we'll kind of take it from there. I don't know how much time we're going to get to talk about the history of the Warhawk because this is liable to get sticky pretty quick. But uh, the Warhawk was actually designed in 2999, built from the ground up, designed and built by Clan Smoke Jaguar. It's a Smoke Jag mech and what I tell you, starting off already. They're they all off on our left. Those are the guys I want to shoot at. Ouch. Take that. And some of that. There we go. I regret those first two shots I took. Wasted heat. Now I'm not going to be able to open up as much, but... Eh. I think we put in some pretty good shots there, considering this is, this is spread all over the place. Whereas the damage we put out was in good blocks. Oh, that guy put up a UAV. Let's see if we can take this UAV. Oh, can I not zoom? It's going to be awkward, huh? Alright. There we go. And then, uh, like I said in the beginning, peek around here and shoot those guys that we just saw. 
and then go back into cover. You just I don't see their guys right here in our face. You gotta chase these guys away first though, before you do that. It's a warhammer right there. Oh, hello, black. No, 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 no. Frustrating. UAV again. May as well take it down. Again, awkward zoom. Uh, okay, I guess we're just gonna shoot it like that. All right. And uh, now let's see if we can work our way up the ramp and get some shots in here. We want to chase the blackjack away first, get him out of our face so that we can then focus on the guys in the distance. Let's see if we can peek up here. Those are the guys I want, but I need this guy to go away. Ah, I missed him with the left arm. All right, now we should be free to shoot across. Hello, Mr. Battlemaster. Take that, I can't target him. There we go, now we can target him. Ah, I hit his arm. There we go. Take that. That's actually a Hellslinger. You don't see those very often anymore. I like that, mate. It's like a big Warhammer is how I run it. Roughneck. Oh, look at this mad cat. Stop shooting at my friend. Said to clear the left arm there. Nope, 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 nope. Hit the pillar. And, of course, they still came over and hit me. Look out. Tried to shoot the left arm between the Borean end. On the wall. Can we hit this guy? Nah, of course not. Um, more badness. Another UAV. I hate shooting these things. Come on. Seriously. There we go. <laughs> and another UAV. I'm not shooting that. Damn that thing. Um, let's get this, uh... Oh, I think we actually hit the urban mech. I was actually trying to hit the battle master here. A chain fire here. Ah. We almost got him. He's, he's, yeah, there he goes. He goes down. Oh, we missed the first shot at that Centurion. Ouch. That's, what is that? Ooh, a blood ass. Take that. Oh my god, that was terrible. Actually hit his right and left torso. It was not one of those ones to the center. I'm pretty sure. I jerked it a little bit. We managed to chase him down still. And um, there's somebody right over here, I think. I guess he's not. Oh, hello. That's the mad cat we've been pummeling. Yeah, he regrets his decision too. Um, we need to push this side. I think. There we go. Oh my god, you're the luckiest centurion in the world. Lucky I can't aim. And what's that, the roughneck again? Ah, there we go. There's that mad cat. I'm gonna go down there and finish him and then try to work our way up into that blood ass because he's still there. Yeah, there he is. Goodbye. Kill most damage dealt. And hopefully my team on my left moves up and we all push this guy together. He should go down. Take that. Oh, I missed that shot. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, oh. Uh, I think I lost my left torso right as I fired the left arm PPCs and that caused me to shut down. Uh, but hopefully our team will pull it back. This is an interesting crab build. Florentine. Well, I guess at least now we can uh, talk a little bit more about the uh, history of the Warhawk as hopefully the team finishes this off. So like I said, it was built in uh, 2999 by Clan Smoke Jaguar. It was their mech. Uh, you do see them occasionally um, in the Tumans of the Ghost Bears and the Jade Falcons, but those were actually mechs that they captured, Battlefield Salvage, in one way or another, because the Smoke Jags jealously guarded this design. They intended to use it for the invasion of the Inner Sphere, which they did. Um, first spotted in about 3049. Of course, it was spotted in um, Draconis Combine Space, which is where the Smoke Jag Invasion Corridor was, which is why it got the name Masakari. Uh, it's named after, I think it was a Japanese battle axe of some kind, as memory serves. And, uh, yeah, there we go. That's game. So, uh, I think we did alright this game. It wasn't particularly great. Um, we'll have to load this back up again and see if we can get a little better. Yeah, 
I mean, two kills, seven assists, but we got one solo kill and three kill the most damage dealt. Only 573 points of damage, though, so that's a solid game, but we'll load it back up and see if I can get you guys one more that's a little bit better, but all in all, that's not too bad. Reactor online. Sensors online. Weapons online. All systems nominal. All right. We're all on Tourmaline Desert. You guys know the play on this one up into like the uh, Fox 6 area. So that's good. This gives us actually time to finish what we were talking about uh, the history of the Warhawk, aka well, the Masakari. Yeah, no kidding. Um, like I said, built in 29.99 for the Clan Invasion of the Inner Sphere by Clan Smoke Jaguar. You did see a couple in the Ghost Bear and Jade Falcon two mons, but they were all captured mechs because the Smoke Jags jealously guarded this. They did not intend to give this to anyone ever, and in fact, they didn't. Uh, the Warhawk didn't spread across the remainder of the clans until after the fall of Clan Smoke Jaguar. So for a long time, this was a uh, Smoke Jag only for the most part, Assault Mac. Uh, there were several variants of it. Uh, the Prime, like we talked about, carried four PPCs and an LRM-10, which is insane because you couldn't use any of that in tabletop. You can only fire two PPCs. Um, there was a variant that carried a Gauss and some SRMs. And uh, then they had the C variant, interestingly, which carried two PPCs, two large pulses, ditched the LRM-10. That was a really bad poke there. And uh, I think it added the flamer and heat sink. So it was actually the monster car that you could use. If you were running stock monster cars, it was the one that we would run. And, uh, but if you're familiar with old school fossil write ups, they, they frequently did not make any sense. And, and so the C variant was actually maligned. And, uh, they said it was a compromise, but not really a good one because you couldn't use it due to heat problems when in point of fact it was the prime you couldn't do anything with because it had atrocious heat problems and c was the one that you could actually run whoa what's this guy doing uh yeah so that's a little bit interesting and we're just going to continue to sit here and pummel people that walk in front of us other than that first bad poke i think we're doing all right here get this guy coming across the ridge there we go. Yeah, take that. How did that miss? What? Come on. There we go. Uh, as far as notable pilots, there were several. Uh, Vlad Ward piloted a Warhawk at one point in time. Diana Pride piloted a Warhawk. And in fact, no less a personage than Theodore Carita himself. Uh, after the Battle of Walcott, they captured one. The DCMS did put it back into service, and Theodore Carita himself piloted a Warhawk in the Battle of Luthien and piloted it for some time thereafter. So, yeah, a lot of uh, notable mech wars piloted this thing, and it was really for its time, you know, in the 3050s. It was a terror on the battlefield. And uh, I used this thing a lot uh, playing on the tabletop. In fact, we would modify Omnimex. And uh, I would run it with four large pulses and a targeting computer, and it's just really accurate and deadly. And even in the fluff, if this guy would get out of the way, because all the variants carried a targeting computer, it was known for being very accurate and very deadly. Yeah, you're not happy, are you? Well, push one way or the other, guys. Let's go right. Enemy base. See those assault mechs over there? We're gonna go right. Just make sure we don't get shot in the back. Here we go. Get a piece of the Cyclops here. Take that. Uh, just continue to chain fire. Uh, what are you doing? How did that miss? Oh, you're lucky I'm hot. I'd murder you. Uh, unfortunately, we shut it down after all, but. Probably should have cool and flushed, but we'll see if we can finish off this grasshopper. Yeah, it's right in the back. Take it. Take it. There's a kill. Let's see if we can get this guy. Come on. Ah, too slow. I'm not helping you with a piranha, dude. That's suicide. 
But I mean, you just. Oh, hello. Ah, uh, ah, uh, that was much. Yeah, look, ripped him right open. Oh, I'm gonna touch his CT. Don't you worry about that. There we go. Look at that Highlander down there. Take that. Oh, how did that miss? And that. And that. Get some. Get some. Where'd he go? Where'd he? He must have dropped down there. Something's getting that Marauder 2 off to the right. Go up here and see what it is. Make sure none of these guys come back up. There he is. Annihilator. Get off me! Now we got him. Want some of that? I'll trade with you. I bet I win. Get some. <laughs> There's only two left, man. You don't have to be Rommel to figure this out. Where'd they go, though? I don't need your armor. I got my own. Yeah, which is why I'm not moving behind you. I have only one weapon left. Uh, but anyway, yeah, the the combination of accuracy, firepower, and actually speed and mobility. I mean, obviously, okay, guys, this is an assault mech. It, it's not going to race across the battlefield, but uh, the speed that it did have at an 85 ton mech for the amount of firepower and whatnot that it carried was really pretty good. When you think about it, it's a clan awesome, but it's faster than an awesome, has better range than an awesome, and because of the target computer, is more accurate than an awesome. And uh, that's one of the reasons, really the, the summation of the reasons why this was such a popular mech for its time, and uh, why I like it so much. And uh, looks like that's game, another win in the Warhawk, let's see how we did. I feel like it was a pretty solid game, but you never know. I see. Two kills, eight assists, one solo kill, three kills, most damage dealt. 721 points of damage. I will take that. Uh, let's see how we stack up. Uh, second on the team. And uh, looks like second across the whole game. So, yeah, pretty solid game in the uh, Warhawk. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed watching it. That was definitely a fun game to play. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, two games in the Warhawk, a.k.a. Masakari and uh, – I'm just really, really enjoying this Mac. It's definitely not meta. It's definitely not the most effective thing in the whole wide world. But it is a lot of fun to take an old school Warhawk out in uh, some smoke jag colors and just slam people with PVCs the way the thing was meant to do, even if it couldn't really do it in tabletop because of the uh, heat scale limit there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider leaving a like and a comment down below. Uh, if not, feel free to leave a dislike. Let me know what I can do to make the videos for, better for you. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.